black TV programming? Is the internet filling the void? A source list. Months ago, Miriam Stevens embarked on a journey to obtain her Master's of Arts in New Media Journalism from Full Sail University. Her thesis topic is Black TV Programming. Is the internet filling the void? Part of her journey has been doing an extensive online research, interviews, surveys, polls, and other activities to gain insight into this virgin territory. It appears that the traditional network television is now not showing predominantly black cast programs. And she wanted to know what was going on. Why is this happening? And where are the viewers? Well, in her search, she's found that there are content creators of phenomenal, exciting, and actually attractive internet web-based series. Take for instance, the ladies behind Brown Paper Dolls production, who produces in conjunction with Eldris Elba, Milk and Honey. Also, there are many people who are online talking about the phenomenon of the rise that is going on with internet TV creation of content, producing of quality shows, and the availability online basically at a nominal cost. Such persons can be found all through the internet. They come from the insiders of the Hollywood network, consumers, bloggers, the citizen journalists. They're all talking about what's going on with the landscape of traditional television and how people are flocking to web and online television to see quality programs. Those shows that people are looking at nowadays come from people such as Issa Rae, who showcased the misadventures of Awkward Black Girl, which she said in an interview she wanted to have someone that looked like her based off of the popular 30 Rock Liz Lemon. There are also others who have put the works in for shows such as Lennox Avenue. Now, why is this so important to have images online for the African American community and others actually who are not part of that ethnic group to have available. Controversy always seems to be swirling around of why it seems that black actors on traditional networks are just getting the second class citizen roles or stereotypical roles. And also that television network executives, they only want to back things that they can make money from and so programs such as those that Tyler Perry has produced often comes under fire for its content and buffoonery. These and other issues have been looked at and addressed in this research on why people are flocking to the internet. If you think about it through the percentages out there, African Americans are the greatest ones using the internet. They have the highest percentage of online users based upon those of other ethnic backgrounds. Nielsen studies are showing that 13% of African Americans are in the US population today roughly we have about 13 percent but yet they are the enormous viewers of television programming so why aren't executives of network and traditional television trying to cater to that audience 
is it a money thing? Uh, is it uh, a comfortability thing that they just want to go with what they know works and it really doesn't matter that the majority of their viewership is coming from an African-American base? These and other questions were explored through the research and sources provide answers. Now, after we did the research, we also continued to explore the variety of shows out there that are being provided online, giving an opportunity for actors from all walks of life, legends, and even newer beginners to have their chance in the spotlight, to get their scripts written, and to have their time as directors without having bars and the traditional red tape that happens when you're trying to pitch to CBS, NBC, ABC, or the big leagues. Programs such as Diary of a Single Mom has garnered such success online that they now have a made-for-TV movie coming out soon as well as they have DVDs that are available to give out as gifts for those who hadn't had a chance to look at the program online. There's a great conversation going on on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Social media enthusiasts are talking about what's going on with the internet and why are there now a plethora of shows being developed? And Sister Savvy, a blog that's out there, talked about Robert Townsend's Diary of a Single Mom and, you know, kind of in a way of, why am I the last to know, to know about such a great program? But there are a lot of people talking about this and other topics. So, Miriam's research will be showcasing some of those responders on this topic. Again, Robert Townsend out of PIC TV is a great case study when you're looking at an award winning web series that's being funded and supported by others. So, that quality and, and programming that Employees, predominantly black cast, from all walks of life are being available now through the internet.